Um, and then I felt a little sorry for Gallagher with his red card. He was left exposed by Cucurella and, and two poor balls in. But then even with 10 men, and, and this is my issue with Leicester City and why I'm, I'm struggling as to how I feel about this as far as Chelsea are, are concerned, is even with 10 men, Cucurella and Raheem Sterling were picking the ball up in 10 yards of space every single time. Right. I, I, I honestly can't understand how, how Leicester, with a man advantage, seemed to be so at sea. And so, while from a Chelsea perspective, yes, you get the result, absolutely fantastic, you needed that. Um, because of who it was against, I'm not sure that it addresses many of your issues. From a Chelsea perspective, Frank, is this going to be the catalyst for them to go out and pay that extra money for Aubameyang? Because you still feel like they need someone who's going to get the goals. I don't know if it would be for Aubameyang, but, um, well, uh, I've been heard that they want to buy, you know, a, a central defender for lots of money. It could be history in the yeah, Premier League. Yeah, we know that Fofana is going to happen at the back, don't know. we? Fofana is going to happen. That's pretty much yeah. signed and sealed. But there's, what, five days to go to the window closes. Yeah. Do they need to go out and get a striker? Yes, I would never change my, uh, my opinion on that, you know. I, even if Sterling did well today, I really think that he needed a, a killer. You know, when I see Erling Haaland uh, performing the way he performs, and I see the money that uh, Chelsea has, I wonder why they didn't try to chase him. Uh, maybe it was a done deal between Erling Haaland and Manchester City because of his father pass, you know, I don't know, whatever it was. But why Chelsea didn't try to get him? Because that's... That's a real surprise for me. When you're ready to pay 85 million for a central defender, why you didn't try to buy Alan for 100 million? And you would have got him. And uh, you would have somebody, like I said, who is an alien, would have scored like 25, 30 goals a year. I don't know why they didn't do that before. Why they didn't react? Maybe because of the change of chairman, you know, uh, maybe. But the scouts should have said, you know, that there is, there is something of priority that we have to get is a striker. And the only striker we can get, and we are sure, well, at 99% is going to be successful, is Erling Haaland. They didn't, they didn't do it, so now they got rid of Lukaku. He's going to come back next year. Maybe they're going to buy Aubameyang, but we know that Aubameyang is not going to score 30 goals. I don't think so. So you lost Lewandowski. So who are you going to get? Yeah, Aubameyang can be somebody who can do at least uh, something good. But I still, I'm still not sure it will be the right man. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.